Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin and today I'm back with more decluttering. I feel like I just did this but the madness is taking over again so we're gonna go I'm back into it. And I'm gonna start with my face products today and we're gonna start with highlights. So these are all my liquid highlighters. I don't have very many because honestly I don't use very many liquid highlighters. But right off the bat, this one is by Wet n Wild. It's the Cushion Foundation, or not foundation, <laughs> highlighter. And I can never open this stupid thing. Looks like this. I am going to pass this one along because I don't really like it. So there's that. Honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of just about all of these. So I'm getting rid of that one. These are... This one is Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetic Liquid Gossamer, and this one's the Beauty Crop Lightning Crew. These look exactly the same, and they're both way too golden for me, so I'm going to get rid of both of them. This one is Temp 2 by BoxyCharm Liquid Glow, and I do actually really like this one. It says, shake well and apply by hand. I like to mix this in with my foundation, so I will use keep this one. And this one is... Mana Glow Shimmer Lotion, and honestly, I don't feel like this shows up very well at all, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one too. So out of that, we're keeping one. Now let's go ahead and move on to single highlighters. I have quite a few. This first one is by Artist Couture, and I have actually not used this yet, so I do want to hold on to it. I just got it not too long ago. It's in the shade Illuminati, so there's that, keeping that. Um, this can go, this is by Mana again, it's eye candy, so I guess it's technically an eyeshadow, but it came broken, so really pretty, oh, it's really, really pretty though. I don't know, I might actually have to keep this and just make it work, because that's really pretty. Okay, we might hold on to this, but I'm going to move it to my eyeshadow drawer. This is a Pocahontas highlighter stick. And it looks like that. I'm going to hold on to this. Even if I didn't like it, I'd still hold on to it just because it's Pocahontas. Then this is Mir Mirame, the collaboration with Katie and Desi and Joseph Colors. Looks like this. I do have Fuego coming, but it's not here yet. It's on back order, so I'm keeping that for sure. These are my Wet n Wild. These are the Mega Glow highlighters. Keeping both of these. It's Precious Petals and Crown of My Canopy. Actually, I'm keeping this one. This one I might get rid of. I feel like it might be too dark. Yeah, this one's way too dark. So we're going to get rid of this one. And then these two. This is the Sweetest Bling. I think I liked this one. Yeah, I like that one. Keeping that. And this one is Lilac to Reality. This is like a purpley one. Yeah, this one's fun too. This one shows up really, really purple on me, but it's kind of fun sometimes. Don't wear it very often. And then I have these two by e.l.f. This one is actually a baked blush, but I use it like a highlight because it's very, very highlighty. Actually, it's kind of not as intense as I want it to be. I'm going to pass this one. And I'm going to keep this one. It broke on me. I was so sad. Like, I dropped it and the entire top shattered, but it's still usable and I still love that. So stunning, especially for a $2 highlighter. Or it might even be a dollar. Not even sure. <laughs> then I have this little guy right here. This is Sin, I believe, by Urban Decay. I've never used it. It's just in this little packaging. I need to put it in my Z palette, so I'm going to do that. This is by Too Faced. This is the Rosy, Gold, Rosy Glow Candlelight Highlighter. Looks like this. Do I like this? Yeah, I like that. It's a more golden one. I have too many highlighters, guys, but... That's okay. This is Champagne Pop. Obviously keeping that. Even if I hated it, I'd still keep it because I like to support other YouTubers. This is by Ofra and it's called Pink Sapphire. It's a Derma Mineral Powder. And I honestly don't use this as much as I should because I love this. It's kind of a mess. It's really, really sparkly. But just like, just take a minute to appreciate that. 
it's so pretty I love this stuff and I do not use it as much as I should so definitely holding on to this and definitely going to make myself use it more see all the sparkles just going everywhere right now can never close it okay so here are the highlighters that I am keeping which is way too many but I did better than I expected to do. I got rid of a few, and I didn't think I would get rid of any. So, and then the other two were moving to other places. So now let's move on to highlighter palettes, because yes, we are still not done. These are singles, but these are the Pixie and Aspen Ovard. I am waiting to do a review on these for my YouTuber makeup reviews. So we'll keep those over in the one that they actually go in. This is a Smashbox and Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette in Pearl. I wanted to get both of them, but I didn't just because I knew I wouldn't wear the golden one because it's pretty dark. So it's like this. I just threw it because I'm smart. There's um, Turn It Pearl, Crank It Pearl, and Blow a Fuse Pearl. And I love these highlighters. They're really, really pretty. They're more subtle. Except that one, obviously. But the other two are more subtle. So, like, if I want a subtle day, which doesn't happen very often, this is usually what I'll go for. So, keeping that one for sure. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. I haven't had a chance to play with this yet. Like, I don't think I've even swatched it. So, I'm going to keep that for now. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean face palette, and I just keep it in with the highlighters because that's what I use it mostly for, because I don't really reach for this blush, and then this one I do sometimes, but I love that highlight, so I just keep it in here because that's what I use the most. Then the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette is obviously staying. This is a Rue 21 Unicorn Glow palette. I'm going to do a full um, Rue 21 look eventually and then this is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero collab so obviously keeping that so clearly I did not do good at this one at all but my favorite highlight of all time is in that Nicole Guerrero palette so I will never get rid of that and honestly I'm very upset it was limited edition because I won't be able to get it back so did not do great in that because I did not get it rid of any but moving on to bronzers Okay, so here's all my bronzers. I definitely don't have near as many as I do uh, highlighters. So this one is the Physician's Formula Sexy Booster, I think is what it's called. And it's just like this. I don't like this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Same with this one. This is the Nude Wear, and it's just really, really sparkly, and I don't like it. This one's also by Physician's Formula. I have quite a few Physician's Formula bronzers. This is the Butter Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. Unfortunately, it doesn't latch anymore. Not really sure why, but still love it. Still going to use it. Need to get a new one. This one is the Light Bronzer Argan Wear one. I don't know how I feel about this one. Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and pass that one along too because I don't think I'll ever reach for it. Next, I have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is just a little mini size. Matte bronzer. I will hold on to this one. It's just a good option. This one, I don't think I've ever used. Elf Health, Elf Healthy Glow Bronzer. Say that three times fast. Ooh, no. Definitely not. Too golden. Get rid of that. I love this one. This is the KO Beauty by Sonia Kashuk. I think this was limited edition, so I don't think you can get it anymore. But right there it says you are beautiful, and then it's got these gloves in it, and I love this, so holding on to that for sure. And then this one is the Tarte Avenue Princess. Um, I really don't think I like this, and I really want to like this. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. So we're literally keeping three bronzers. <laughs> Clearly I don't wear a lot of bronzers. But here are my contour items. So maybe I can get it all into one container. For sure, keeping my Kat Von D shade in light. This is my holy grail. Honestly, I feel like this is getting to the point where it's too dark for me, that lightest shade. But I really love it. So this one, the Wet n Wild. This is just a good 
drugstore option I like to keep around. It's not my favorite in the world, but it's a good drugstore option, so I keep that. And this is my Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. This is the only cream product I use for contouring, so I'll keep that. And this is IBY Beauty Highlighter and Contour Palette. Um, I honestly hate this. Like, the contours don't show up and the highlights do not highlight. So we're getting rid of that for sure. So here's everything we're keeping out of all of that. So I think that's definitely an improvement from where we were last time with the highlights. So now let's go ahead and talk about my blush palettes. I have quite a few of them. This one is the BH Cosmetics... 10 pan blush palette. I honestly don't reach for this even though there's so many in here. 10 pan, not 12 pan, sorry. But I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this along just because I don't wear a lot of blush and I don't reach for this. And I have so many other options. This one is the Gwen Stefani. I am keeping this one. I love this shade. I love this shade. I love this shade. This one's okay. I don't like this one and I don't really reach for this one. But I love this overall, so we're keeping that. This is the blush and bronzer. I don't really know why it's still in the packaging. Um, I don't think I've ever used this, so I'm probably going to pass it along too. Just because I don't use it. It's by Coastal Sense. This is the Beauty and the Beast little set here, the blush set. I love this. This is what I reach for most if I reach for a palette. And then this I haven't got to try out yet. This is the, what is this called? Um, the Total Face Palette by e.l.f. I hate how reflective this is. It just looks like this. It's got two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. So I just throw it in here because why not? So keeping three of my palettes. And then we'll go to single blushes. I have so many of these and I never use them. This is the Dose one. I haven't had a chance to use this yet. So I'm probably going to try it out before I get rid of it. This is by Pixi, the Aspen Ovard Collection again. I haven't used these yet because I want to do a YouTuber makeup review on these, so I'm keeping that. This can go. This is the Dulce Pink Cream Color by Bang Beauty. It's just a cream blush. I don't like cream blushes, so it can go. Same with this one, also a cream blush. This is a blush serum by... Butanique Beauty. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it looks like that. So this can go. And also, I forgot to mention, if I don't say it's not cruelty-free, then everything's cruelty-free. There was just like two items in my eye declutter video I just did that weren't cruelty-free. So I just wanted to clarify that. But these are the Wet n Wild Cheek and Lip Tint Mega Glows. I don't like any of these. I'm getting rid of all of them. <laughs> I just don't like cream eye products, or face products, I mean, or eye products, honestly, but this is the Blush Duo by The Beauty Crop. It's called Papaya Don't Preach. It's a cute name, and it looks like this. This one's cream. This one's powder. Getting rid of it. Never used it, and this is the DLS Blush, Dirty Little Secret, and Kitty Pink. I actually really like this. I've been reaching for this a lot lately, so I'm going to hold on to that. The packaging is really cheap and it doesn't close, so that's cool. This is a little sample of the Love Flush So Happy Together by Too Faced. I don't think I've ever used this either. I like this. Ooh, that's real pink. Yeah, we're going to pass that along. That's real too pink for me. This is my favorite blush of all time. This is Tarte Parte. Or Party, I guess. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. Keeping that... This is the uh, Butter Blush by um, Physicians Formula. I do really like this, but it's kind of more of a blush topper because it's pretty highlighty. but I'm going to keep it just because I like it. This is an e.l.f. blush that I've never used in the shade Pink Passion, and it's like an ombre. Okay. Oh, I have used this. This is from my Dollar Tree makeup. It's way too pink if I remember. Okay, getting rid of that. And this one, I keep holding on to this just because I love it. It's called XOXO by Makeup Geek, but it's just too pink. That's way too dark for me. So I am going to go ahead and pass this. And my Wet n Wild Ombre Blush, I will forever keep because I love it. So there is 
what we are keeping. I can honestly almost fit all of the things in here. <laughs> Once I have this open and then these two. So we're keeping all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of my complexion products. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my setting sprays just because I only have three and I'm keeping all of them. This is the Kula Makeup Setting Spray, the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and the Vichy, I think is how you say that, Laboratories, EAU Thermal. I don't know how you say that, it's in a different language, but I'm keeping all of those. I do enjoy all of them. And I only have those setting sprays. So next I'll move on to setting powders. Right off the bat, this one is by Wet n Wild. It's the Mattifying Powder in Mad About You. Um, it's just really, really scratchy and I feel like it just doesn't do anything. So we're gonna pass that one along. This is the Tarte Anazonian Clay Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. This one I have mixed feelings about, like it sets and it keeps your makeup in lock all day. I did break the sifter out just because it was a very annoying sifter, but it kind of gives like a white cast to your face and for someone as pale as me saying that, you know it's pretty bad, but I am almost out of it so I will go ahead and finish it, but I probably won't repurchase it. Then I have the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, which is my favorite setting powder, so I'm for sure keeping that. The e.l.f. under eye setting powder, which I also really like, so I'm keeping that. And the Ulta Mineral setting powder in the shade... It doesn't have a shade name. I've never tried this, so I'm going to keep that and just give it a shot. So, there's that. Then I have my concealers and color correctors. Don't have very many right now. I really need to get some more concealer, but yeah. I have a hard candy one somewhere that's not in here, but I'm going to keep that. I think it goes with this. This is the Glamouflage uh, concealer in a pencil form. I'm going to just throw this away because I don't like it, but I do have the Glamouflage concealer itself too that I like that I will keep if I can find it. <laughs> this is just a little sample of the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. I do want to try this, so I just have a little sample. But it's in the shade medium, so probably definitely going to be too dark. This is the Measurable Difference Concealer Collection, and I am not a fan of this at all. Like, I swatched a few shades, and I am just not a fan, so we're going to pass that for sure. It's just, like, a really weird formula. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I do really like this. It's not my favorite concealer, but it gets the job done, so I will keep that. This is the Aurora and Ipsy Pro Cover Up Concealer. I, I'm not crazy about this. It's like really liquidy, but on like a no makeup day, this is really good. So keeping that. This I have not tried. This is the Well People BioCorrect. And it's just a, it's a multi-action concealer. I have not tried this yet, so I'm going to keep that. And then I just have these two color correctors by NYX in green and yellow that I do keep around. I don't use these all the time, but I do like to have them in case I'm feeling extra red or extra dull. So I do keep those around. Let's go ahead and jump into primers. I have a lot of primers. This is the Hard Candy Coconut Water Primer Stick. It's super cute packaging. Super, super cute. I really wanted to like this, but I really hate it. Um, for, like, an extra boost of hydration, if you're not wearing makeup, it's not bad if you just want to, like, feel hydrated, <laughs> but it's supposed to go under your makeup, and for under your makeup as a primer, it's just awful. Like, it makes your makeup, like, stick together and clump, and it's just bad, and I don't have time for that, so we're getting rid of that. This I have not tried enough yet to give my opinion on. It's the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer Serum. I've only tried it a couple times. I didn't dislike it, but I wasn't crazy about it. So we're going to hold on to that, give it more of a try. This is the Wet n Wild Face Primer in Photo Focus. I actually really like this. It's not my favorite, but it's still really good. So I'm going to hold on to that. This is a little sample that's been opened. That's kind of gross. <laughs> so we're going to throw that away. This is Argan Oil by Physicians Formula. I do really like this to just mix in. 
it's clearly still really full because I don't do it too often, but I do like to have that option, so I'm going to keep that. These are both by Smashbox. It looks like I have not touched these. This one's not open. This one is. But I do like these. They have the Photo Finish Primer. Um, also not my favorite primer, but I do really like it. This is my favorite primer, actually. The e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. These are kind of the same idea. They're both like silicone based, but this one's white and this one's clear. But they're both really good. This one's just my favorite, and it's a lot cheaper. So keeping all of those. I also really like this primer. This is the... Mirabella Prime. I'm almost out of this and I'm for sure going to have to get a new one. This I don't like. I keep trying to like it because I like the idea and I really like the packaging, but it's Diamond Heart Base Primer Illuminating. And when I put it on, like, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to be like, oh, I like it, but I just don't. Like, it looks like it's so pretty. I'm going to give it one more try. Just one more try before I decide. And this one is the Avance and it got really dirty. Flawless Effects Skincare Invisible Pores Anti-Shine Primer. I don't like this at all. It just kind of like leaves your skin looking really, really dull and I just can't get the life back into my skin when I use this. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So we kept quite a few primers, probably more than I should have, but it's nice to have options, so that's the excuse we're going to use for that. Definitely less than I started with, which is always good. And last, but certainly not least, I have foundations. I'm going to go ahead and lay these down, even though you should never do that with your foundations, just so you can see them better. I don't have very many foundations, honestly, that's all I have. These are all samples of the Born This Way foundation. None of these are going to be my shade. This is porcelain, ivory, and pearl. I'm pretty sure I'm either fawn or snow, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw these in, in my box and see if anybody wants those. This I have not tried yet. It's the Marcel Tinted BB Cream in the shade Fair. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. This is the Essence Pure Nude Makeup Natural Finish No Makeup Feel in the shade Pure Beige. This is the lightest shade they have, and it's too dark for me, so I'm going to have to pass that along. It's not a bad foundation. I mean, it's only like $2, so it's not bad, but it's too dark. Same with this one, which makes me really sad because I paid a lot of money for this, and it's a really nice foundation. I really, really, really like this foundation, but this is the shade Ivory, and it's way too dark for me, so I'm going to have to get rid of that one. This one is new to me. This is the Koki Cosmetics um, HD Foundation Skin Perfect in the shade 10 Cool. So this is the lightest cool tone shade they have. Uh, I don't dislike it, but I'm not crazy about it either. Like it's, oops, sorry. It's just kind of eh, but I've only used it a couple times, so I do need to give it more of a fair shot. This is my favorite foundation. This is the e.l.f. Um... I don't remember what it's called. It's like the HD foundation or whatever. And the shade Porcelain, which I believe is now called Ivory. It's the lightest shade. I love this stuff. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I do not like this stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> this is the shade Ivory and this is the shade Porcelain. I'm going to hold on to this one and give it a shot. And just tell myself that I don't like this because it's too dark for me. Because it is a little bit dark. Even though looks pretty close. It's just like, I think it's too warm is the problem, but I just don't like it. It make like, I don't really know how to explain it, but I have really big pores on my skin and I feel like it just sinks into my pores no matter what primer I use and you can just see it. And then any setting powder that I put over it just like attaches to every imperfection. So the common factor is always this. So I'm going to get rid of this, even though so many people raved about it. So keeping two foundations, one sample, and one BB cream. So yeah, that is everything I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more declutters like this or dedicated videos to any of the products that you saw in this video, leave those products down below and give this video a like. I always comment back, so comment back if you want to talk to me. And don't forget to subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on any more of my declutters. Bye guys!